Do -do 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 -do. Who can I make say, I love you? <laughs> Another satisfied Valentine's Day customer. I bet you've never had a date on Valentine's Day in your life. Well, I'll bet you never have a date on Valentine's Day no matter how long you live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I bet I could get a date before you could. Well, I'll bet I can get a date before you. Okay, it's a bet then. You bet it's a bet. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> ha! Wait till you see me in my new red Valentine's dress tonight. The only thing I'll be shattering are hearts. Single walrus seeks ideal date. Must be clean, parasite free, whiskers a plus. Ah, come to Papa. Huh? Single woodpecker seeks ideal date. Oh boy, here's my destiny. Hey, hello? Hey, baby, how about you and me going out stepping? Tell me what you look like first. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Fifth and vine at seven. A saucy little bird. Oh, mama. Hey, I'm walking here. Why, you, I'll... No hmm. oh, good, Lord dirty God, boy, I guess. Hey, you. I gotta get in there. Hey, I'm naked in here. Oh, bucket, bucket on the floor. Who's the prettiest forevermore? Ah, when I get my hands on that culprit, who... Aha! Help! <laughs> no good hooligans! Who's responsible? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up. I have to get ready for my date. So double time and share if you have to, but move it. I don't hear you sharing in there. Share and share alike. Share and share alike. Crazy woodpecker. Ah, smooth, smooth legs. No more flaky ankles. Wow. 
ないよあよだ
clue number two. <clears throat> Never judge a blank by its cover. Oh, oh, all that time I had for reading in the joint paid off. You never judge a book by its cover. <sighs> hmm, Frankenstein. Poison! <laughs> <sighs> Call of the Wild, one of my favorites. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Wait a minute. He's gone. I'll just take uh, the three musketeers here. Oh, uh, for one. And one for the wall. Oh, look, three musketeers, the abridged version. <laughs> So long, Sap. <laughs> the score is tied one to one. And here's your next clue. A blank and his money are soon parted. Huh? What's that mean? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing heading back to the studio? Let me through! I'm gonna win! You can't win! You never found the last scavenger right up. Okay, okay. Let's say it's a tie. Then we'll split all the prizes 50-50. You know, you're right, chum. And I'm getting first pick. Oh, oh, I won, I won! Oh, 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 oh it's wonderful! <laughs> All righty then, let's see what items you brought back, Woody. Like taking candy from a baby, never judge a book by its cover. And the final clue? A blank and his money are soon parted? Oh, that's easy. A fool and his money are soon parted, junkyard. Did you bring us back a fool, Woody? I sure did, and there he is. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Woody Woodpecker is today's <laughs> scavenger rama champion! <gasps> no! We tied! I didn't lose! That's right. There are no losers on scavenger rama, Mr. Buzzard. You win the consolation prize! A fun-filled day with Anna! <laughs> Oh, boy! You mean a date with the Goyle who points to the fabulous prizes? No, Anna, the junkyard dog! <laughs> no! Stop! Yep, still running my ad. <laughs> Professional babysitting service for the rich and famous. 500 bucks an hour. They must have a lot of dough stash taking care of all those rich people's kids. Looks like I've got work to do. This babysitting's gonna be a cinch! Bring on the babies, bring on the bucks! Hey, now, Nanny, and a hot cha cha! Hello, Woody's babysitting service. This is old lady Buzzard. Would you take care of Junior while I get my jewels polished? Oh boy, my first customer! Wow, that was fast! Coming! Hello? Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, heavy baby.
What a loud, ugly baby. Babies cry when they're hungry. Hmm. What say we make you a snacky wacky, hmm, baby baby? <laughs> While that sap's busy, I'll find out where he keeps all his baby sitting dough. Babies need lots of vitamins, but they can't eat big people food. Hmm. All I've got is big people food. Aha! No cash! <laughs> Better try and take whatever I can. with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. No! <laughs> Order. Order in the court. Now, Mr. 
Mr. Woodpecker. Please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. To please the mole, or it's life in prison. Offered. Ouch! Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Volley will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? <laughs> Ooh, ow, ow. There. Is that better? <gasps> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mahi Mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The feuds flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> As the bread rises, is almost on. I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! Yump and yiminy. Why don't you wait a moment, you big... Wally, how's about a lullaby to put me to sleep? <sighs> Okie dokie, Woody. Wally, I need something a little more soothing. Mm, maybe a little more classical, Wally. Now, uh, play them all together, Wally. Please? Wally, it's too dark in here. Wally, move the bed closer to the TV. Uh, Wally, it's too bright in here. Wally! Okay, buddy. Will that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> 
asleep. Hey, Walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh, and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? Uh, Wally? So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs> <laughs> All this rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control shack, ya, yeah, you bet. One weather shack for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's working. Fun, groovy, volley, volley, pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing Woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! <laughs> hey, everyone, plenty of fun and sun over here. Oh. Yeah, 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 it's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. Care to bob for Swedish meatballs? Ew! Gross! Hey, you guys! Why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hay vain! <laughs> Listen, you meddlesome fowl. Those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I'll go 
still get cleaned up, and I'll be back before you can say, who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. Chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. <laughs> to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty... Shut him down or my name is... <laughs> you throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody. Goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> what do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. More like the sport of your grandfather, Land. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertia-thon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two lively contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby, tobogganing. Hiya, buddy. 
No bargaining. <laughs> 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 Well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks. Hey, Wally, your boots are untied. Hold my poles, bootpacker. Get set. Bootpacker, my poles. Here you go. I need some ski bags. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. <laughs> Try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a ski. I show them a thing or two. Ah! Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Hmm. <laughs> Wally get through that. Oh, ogly mogly. Moguls are my specialty. Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> uh, hello? This is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Voidpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh, Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> hey, how come they're laughing? Hi, buddy. Ah! Oh goody, there's the finish line. Great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! The world's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! <laughs>
Nothing closer to perfection. How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get a three reds? Do marketing rules. Oh, it's my purpose. Hey, buddy, you're letting all the heat out. You know how much it costs to heat this can? Look, unless you're paying the bill, keep the door closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it. You could poke an eye out with that thing. Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. And now, a special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got a hook in a pole? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's cut rate bait, you can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. Introduce you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog, and next, my genuine fish fly larvae, and finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. <laughs> Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so's they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so's that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please. You raised us. You fed us. You taught us to do this. Don't give us the hook. Oh. Here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So send me back and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. <laughs> One 
what's this? Another return? Oh, uh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey, guys, huddle up. Break! Only bait left is Penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of Penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. We have returned! But what's wrong? Well, you fed us when we were little, so we can return the favor. Right, boys? Remember what you taught us? Watch this! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did get me. <laughs> for the truth behind the legendary fur-bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <laughs> the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. Watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. What? Dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. <laughs> trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? <laughs> Whoa. 
What a mess. Hey! Five bucks! Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa! some people. Listen, bub. I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb. But apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub. I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it, and some of these long johns too. I'll be back though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin. Oh, ah, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Hello? Stay on I him. say there. A, Keep a me word, focused. please, Mr. Penguin. We'll get Penguin. a reverse angle later on. Please. Hi, Winnie here. Oh, Genie. Today's paper? Yes, it's right. <gasps> Oh, my. High Society Ball tonight. Upper Crust begs the question, who will be the new It Girl? The brightest star of the new High Society season, the new toast of the town. What do you mean I can't be the new It Girl? Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to prove it. Except I don't know a thing about High Society. Wally Swedish Finishing School. Hi, Society! Here I come! Wally Swedish Finishing School. This is where I start my social climb. Oh, oh yoy! You got that certain something, you bet. That's it for sure. <laughs> you really think I've got it? Ooh, such grace, such poise. You could become the toast of high society. That is, with my <clears throat> expert instruction. Wow, what are we waiting for? <laughs> now, you must learn to speak properly if you want to be part of high society. Uh-huh. Please read this sentence. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. No, 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 no. Now repeat after me. Yump and Yiminy, 
by your yules look just lovely. Jump in Jiminy, where your jewels look just lovely. Ah, no, 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 no. Here, put this in your mouth and try it again. Are you sure this is how you speak at a high society ball? By Yingo, that's the lingo. Now say the sentence like all my high society friends would say it. Yumpin Yumini, why your yours look just lovely. Yeah, you've almost got it. Just need a lilt in your voice. Yumpin Yumini, why your yours look just lovely. Ooh, you're going to be this year's it girl for sure. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> First impressions are everything. How you enter a room can make or break you in high society. You must walk with purpose, dignity and grace. Like so. Ooh. People will know you are a refined member of the upper crust. Yeah, sure. All it takes is a little practice on Volley's tire training system. Go now, walk through the tires. Just remember, Vinny, chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep your arms in. Keep your arms in. Hmm. Aha! I got just the thing to help you with those crazy arms. <laughs> Yeah, now waddle those hips to the beat. Yoinky doinky, arms in. Perfect waddle. You're sure to be a star when you walk into any room like that. <laughs> Table manners make or break you in high society. No, 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 my dear. You must do as everyone does at all the biggest parties. Watch closely. Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this is how they'll eat at the High Society Bowl tonight? Oh, yeah, you bet. With this last bit of training complete, you're sure to be the belle of the ball. Now you try. <laughs> now your training is complete. I have never seen a girl who had it like you have it, Vinnie Woodpecker. Congratulations, you are my star. Now go party with all your hearty. Here it goes. Yump and Yimini, why your yous look just lovely. <gasps> Who will be the new it girl this year? Do you think, eh? <laughs> Was it my posture, or your something I said? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I did everything Wally said to. <laughs> Chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. The walrus vaults! And it's the best I've ever seen! Ladies and gentlemen, the walrus high society ball has found its new it girl! Thank you, thank you! Hello, Genie! Look at your paper! You won't believe it! Go 
off somebody else, you freeloader? If I ever see you again, I don't know what I'll do! <laughs> that does it. I gotta find me a new dope I can con. Aha! Perfect. <laughs> when the sucker who owns this heap starts it up, I'll claim bodily injury and so am her all his wife. <laughs> when you're good, you're me. <laughs> That can't be good. Ow! What are you trying to do to me, Woodpecker? Oh, you fractured my cup tubula. Oh, and my entire upper thorax is numb. What were you doing under my hood? I was adjusting your manifold intake. There are problems with it on this model. And this is how I get repaid for my good deed. Oh, the agony. Oh, the pain. I smell a lawsuit. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Lawsuit? And I'll take you for everything you've got. Now, now calm down. I'm sorry. You can come to my house and get cleaned up. I'll make it up to you. Thanks, sucker. Oh. I mean, pal. Uh, Mr. Buzzard, sir, you've been in there for two days. I'd like to get in my bathroom sometime. Have this oh. towel clean. Eesh. I put on the only thing I could find while my pants dry. My suit! Now you listen here, bub. I've taken care of you, and you look just fine to me now. It's time to hit the bricks. <gasps> oh, Woodpecker, I'm barely over my bodily trauma, and now you're causing me all this emotional turmoil. <laughs> Which is only gonna cost you more in the lawsuit. No, no, uh, forget I said anything. All right, then. It's settled. I'm gonna have to stay a while longer. Okay, but there's new rules. Stay out of my clothes, and whatever you eat, you replace. Sure, you're the boss. <laughs> I've got a golf game. to eat, especially to a stupid woodpecker. Ah. Man, that's pretty. Oh boy, there's nothing like steak and cake. Moist and chewy. <laughs> that does it! Hey, get out here! We need to talk! I'm on the phone here! And I gotta finish my pedicure. I'm not standing out here all night! Could've fooled me! This isn't your house, you know! But it's my bathroom! Get out of there now! I have needs! I gotta go, Olaf. Call me back later. Collect. Who's so important in Denmark you have to talk to them all night long? Eh, yeah, no one special. I just love the sound of the Danish language. <laughs> ah! My bathroom! Completely destroyed! Yeah, you better get that toilet fixed. I'm having a party tonight. Ah! Ow! You 
can't make me leave. I got my rights. <sighs> if you hit me, you'll go to jail for cruelty to animals. What? Forget the lawsuit. We're talking life in prison. I'm an endangered species, you know. Jail? You're no good, no paying deadbeat! Hiya, buddy. Huh. That's how I deal with deadbeat tenants like you! Then have I got a tenant for you. <sighs> now to get back to my bath. Oh, allow me. I'll just take you back to your tub and run you some fresh, hot water. Here, give your Danish friend a call. I will. Bye-bye. First and got leaving, Vincent. <laughs> Come in. Well, Buzz, I'm off to play on the pro tour. I've sold the house. <gasps> and the new landlady says she knows you. You remember Ms. Meanie, don't ya? No, not her. Please! No! No! <laughs> I wanted a I new object, car and he you treated everything me like dirt! Oh, no, 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 no. Now, Winnie, let's hear your story first. <sighs> Well, Your Honor, I wanted to buy a nice little red car, so I went to this buzzard's used car lot and... Knock, knock, knock. Ahem. Excuse me. Excuse me! I'd, um, like to buy a car, sir? <gasps> a customer? Why didn't you say so? What kind of car are you looking for? We got sports cars, sedans, and luxury cars. We got cars that'll take you from point A to point B. Uh, I have a question. I don't see any cars. Are you pulling my leg? <gasps> oh my gosh! There it is! What can I say? It's you, it's you, it's you! What do you think? Isn't she a beauty? She's all yours. Just sign right here. Well, I was kind of hoping for a car with wheels. Wheels? What do you want wheels for? Well, most cars I've seen have wheels. <whistles> Look at the car. What do you see? <gasps> it has no wheels! Go get wheels. There you go. Drive it right off the lot. I'd like to, but it doesn't have a steering wheel. Again. What an oversight on his part. Get the lady a steering wheel. There you go. Practical, yet playful. It doesn't look very safe. You hoid the lady. Make it safe. Get a safety belt. <laughs> now you have safety belts. Well, as long as we're on the subject, there's a few other things we'll need. Like seats, transmission, a dashboard, windshield wipers, fenders, bumpers, turn signals, door handles, heater, defroster, ice cream maker, self-cleaning, glove compartment. Well, last I heard, a car needed an engine to run. Hop in. Let's take it for a test drive. Wind in your hair, sun on your backside. Oh, it doesn't get any better than this. Faster, you toll break. Hey. You want to give it a whirl? Look out! And that's the whole truth, with sugar and spice and everything nice. Objection, Your Honor. We're dying here, Oinker. 
I'll stall him. You go get us a nice red car. We'll pass it off as the one we were trying to sell her. If it uh, pleases the court, let me tell you what really happened. There I was, doing one of my daily good deeds. There you are, madam. Have a nice day. Excuse me? I'd like to buy a car. Why, this is our finest automotive deal, ma'am. A mere $10,000. <gasps> but it'll practically pay for itself. <laughs> then when it makes the last payment, I'll come pick it up. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Whatever you can't afford, I'll gladly pay for. No questions or interest added. I want a red Ford! <laughs> I'm determined to get you in a car. Heck, I'll give you one if I have to. I just want to make you happy. Let's take it for a spin! <laughs> Hold on! Wait! Far be it from me to criticize, but aren't we driving a bit fast? <laughs> no, And that's the truth. Hey, now may it please the court. I give you Exhibit A. The fine red car I practically tried to give away to the woodpecker. It's a beauty, all right, Mr. Buzzard. Looks like this case is... Wait, Your Honor, no! You're out of order, Winnie. This is wrong. That buzzard is more crooked than a bad boxer's nose. She's trying to hoodwink you, Judge. Oh, I am, am I? Yes, you am. Well, speaking of hoods, what kind of car do you drive, ma'am? And in fact, doesn't your license plate read, I'm the Judge? <gasps> oh, she's right. And isn't your car blue, Your Honor, just like this <gasps> one? Oh, <she's> <laughs> This is my car! No, wait! I'm... I find for the plaintiff, Winnie the Woodpecker! Take this buzzard away! No! No! This is appalling! I'm appealing! <laughs> and for cracking Buzz Buzzard's auto theft ring, here's your reward money. Hmm. Your Honor, is your car for sale? Why, yes. Well, here you go then! Sold! Case closed! <laughs> oh, that's my good little woodland creatures. Store plenty of food. Mother Nature says it's going to be a long winter. Woody, you should be flying south for the winter. What are you talking, winter? It's 80 degrees. But there's a cold snap coming. Yeah. So wake me when it's winter. Wakey, wakey. Now fly south like you're supposed to. Oh, I really do got to head south. And flying's way too tiring. <laughs> but riding a train's more like it. <laughs> Ooh, so good to have you aboard, Mr. and Mrs. Stink Orridge. <laughs> I got 20 bucks for a ticket stub, bub. And there's a nickel tip in it for you if I get a window seat. Oh, yoy. A nickel. Now I can retire and buy those orthopedic tusks for my poor, ailing grandmama. Twenty bucks is not enough to ride this train, Woodpecker. How's about if I ride coach? No. How's about if I ride outside on the roof? 
This is Ultra Lux Rail. You want our economy class train. Out of luck rail. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. So, he wants to play it like that, does he? Fine by me. How much just to send my bag? Cargo is... What do you know? Twenty bucks. Hmm. I showed this freeloader a thing or tree or fur. <laughs> All of your. for my lunch. <laughs> uh, 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 you own the train, Mr. Lux. Yeah, you could eat any time you like. Yeah, you bet. Uh, today's special is roast pig. Uh... Woodpecker! Guess who? Tea time! <laughs> <laughs> Will there be anything else, Lord Crinkle? Yes. You expect me to drink this swill? Tut, tut, tut. I'm reporting this entire train to the Board of Health. No! Woodpecker! No, no. Uh, hold on, big fella. Say, isn't that the Queen? The Queen. Oof! <laughs> Porter, what have you done? Ah! Ooh, bad, bad Porter. Oh, Fjord. <laughs> Porter, get off of me. The doom. If you won't do something, I will. <laughs> Oh, I saved you, Mr. Lux. I saved you. Nonsense! Woody Woodpecker here saved my train, and I'm awarding him a lifetime pass to ride free every winter when it's time for him to head south. No! <laughs> Meanwhile, you're going to work on Outer Luck Rail. Hiya, buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 